Hi guys, my name is JP. Welcome to Freeride Quebec. Today I'm doing a small episode in English for the fellow rider here at Evil Bikes. So, some of you asked what would happen if we change the fork offset of an Evil Reckoning. This one's an LB, not a V3. So, the Reckoning stock comes with a 51 millimeters offset. And I saw that some of you change your fork for something like a 44. So I was curious to try it out. I reached out to Evil before just to have an idea of the consequences of what would happen. So the guy that answered me at Evil Bikes, very fast service by the way, said that yes, you can physically mount a 44 offset fork on your reckoning. I even saw the guys at World Ride Cyclery dropping a 42 millimeters offset on their like home build or house build. So he said that even if it was possible, even if it was possible, two things might happen. First of all, you can perform like underturn. So if you're used to turn your bike with a 51 millimeter offset and you've been riding that bike for a while, when you arrive on a 44, you're gonna notice that the bike turn more easily, maybe not too much easily. So if you're riding, for example, a flow trail that you know, like for a while, and you arrive to make some big berms, you can turn the fork or pretty much the end of bar too much and having some problems of under turning your bike. The second thing that might happen is that Though the Reckoning is not a very stable bike, the wheelbase being a bit short, in my humble opinion, if you reduce your offset, you also reduce your wheelbase. So on this bike, I changed my Rock Chalk Lyric, which is a 51 offset, 170 millimeters of travel. I changed it for a little Fox that I had home so same travel, 170. It's a performance one. Yeah, cheap one, I know. And this one is 44 millimeters off offset. So I've been riding it for the past half hour, slowly getting to the trails. So out of the get-go, you can realize that the bike feels more, hey you, like 27.5. It's uh it's crazy to say that, but with the shorter offset, that bike's performed more like my YT Cabra, which was 275. So it does feel a bit smaller, even if you got the big wheels. So the bike feels a bit more playful, but also less stable. So depending on what you're doing with that bike, it might be the feeling that you're looking for, or again, it might not. If you're doing like big DH, it's probably not a good idea. Gosh, we're late in the season. <laughs> I'm not in that much of shape versus a couple months ago. Anyway, so if you're doing a lot of bike park, that might be a good idea. Shorter offset, shorter wheelbase. Can give a hell of a bike. As for the climbing, don't forget that if you reduce your offset, you're gonna change a bit the head angle. Not that much. Didn't take the time to check how much it would change. So the bike will be a bit slacker. That can be good for downhill, but it's not climbing as good as it was before. And we all know that the Reckoning is not that much of a climber. Well, actually at 160, it's pretty surprising how good it climbs. But as soon as I changed for 170, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that climbs like shit. So it's even worse. <laughs> For bike park, all good. For big DH, not that sure. 
if you're doing trail riding and you climb with it not that sure and there's one last part i didn't cover and it's the most important one that'll be the descending part as soon as i'm done with this fucking climb it does climb a bit better in all the small technical parts having a shorter wheelbase and also the um, you can set up turning <laughs> like the small quick turning that helps a bit just a bit uh, i'll show you a few <sighs> that pill strike oh, by the way i got the new euro 9 so if you guys are curious to see how it does perform i'm doing my first test with it so i'm filming at 2.7k 60 fps okay so we're gonna do a trail called the serva and then the tableron so serva and tableron and take into consideration that they hasn't passed the leaf blower so it's gonna be dangerous as fuck and there's a puddle of water pretty much everywhere so done mode here we go so I made a few descent on the reckoning with this one. Swiss, oh, never seen that one. I'm curious now. Okay, so out of the get go, you can see that the bike turns a hell lot more versus the 51. A hell lot more. It almost turned like my YD Capra, but now take into consideration that the fork is not perfectly set up. I think I've got a bit too much of air in it. So, other than that, yep. I can also say that the bike is more playful. It is, but less stable. So, I think that everything depends on what you're looking for with that bike you want a stable bike and a fast bike or a quick turning one let's see about these jumps very stable in the air <laughs> i don't see much of change compared to the 51 for let's say the jumping and landing part in the air that doesn't change much I don't You're like who the fuck are you <laughs> last one yeah yeah it's the last jump and that one and that one too so I much like the fact that it turns better and is a bit more, let's say, aggressive and playful. I don't like the part where your reckoning is less stable. And out of the box, the Reckoning V1 and LB are not that much of a stable bike. It's one of the only complaints I can about that rig is the fact that the wheelbase is a bit short love the chain stay short chain stay oh. Oh, some people hey but the short wheelbase would be the only bummer for me and i've been riding 1100k on that bike yet still love it i would take a bit more uh, seat post angle of course and there have been problems that's been addressed with the v3 still reckoning lb is still a beast i sold my capra because i don't need it anymore it feels a bit more like the capra with the shorter offset but i think that what you lose on the stability side it's too much at least for me at least for me consider doing the upgrade so i'm gonna call my local bike shop 
tell them take the lyric and drop that push acs3 coil conversion kit in it so i hope you enjoyed this little video i know i don't do much of them in english i'm trying to so as a french speaking person it's a bit harder for me huh. my friend house oh i love the frame nice one tom so as a french speaking person it's a bit harder for me to do these kinds of video <laughs> I think I know them. Is this Zach? <laughs> These kids are awesome. They're 11, 12 years old and they shred more than me. <laughs> it's no joke. So, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Free Ride Quebec, you can give it a thumbs up and surprise. And surprise, yeah, surprise, motherfucker. And subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode of Free Ride Quebec. See you guys. Oh, bear. That's quite a challenge. Oh, it's closed. Fuck. Is that because of the leaves of the bear? Oh, motherfucking bear.